I saw, saw I did a year in, in, in the dairy tech, so I did my foundation. So that was a good idea because you kind of got a taste of everything. So, so I kind of knew from then that it was Peyton that I was interested in, and uh, so I applied for for Belfast. Then, so I got so I didn't go that far from home either, and you were home every weekend, so you still had that connection with home as well that you could home every weekend to, and you were still in this landscape as well. Like you know, it, was, it was very hard getting used to a city as well, being coming from a country area and uh, so say coming home every weekend you were able to get get that connection again and, and take it with you and go back and, and use it. Time of year is, there's a, a field over there in Clamperland, it's all heather and purples and golds and so it's just, it's just it seems to be fine that way in as well to just them kind of colours. So, so say every, every day I, I would go for a walk and so every day, you, as I say, always say, you always see something different every day you go out, that you're, you're, you're coming back with stuff as well, that you'll, you'll come back with something different. And We always walked when we were wee. We never had a car much or didn't didn't go for very long before it was uh, you'd end up pushing it so and, and we would have walked to school and back so I think walking is the only you know from an early age you kind of were always observing things you know we, we would have walked from I, I lived in the whole town and uh, so you walked to school every day and you were always kind of observing things along the way and on the way home so I think that's just a habit that you picked up that you're always looking at things or being late for school or <laughs> looking at flowers and things like that but it's just just, uh, just that observation that that you can't get from sitting in a car or, or or anything else that you have to be walking through it to, to see things or or just to see the changes and things as well so, so that's uh, I think that's where that came from <laughs> that habit that your whole world was, is up kind of within that couple of miles just that it's that mirrors the big world kind of so and sometimes you feel that's the, the worst thing maybe that, that you are working that's kind of solitary as well so so that's why you like kind of going out and I always meet neighbours when I'm out and you, something always you'll always pick something up that somebody has said or you know that just meeting your neighbours you can discover something or hear something or even if it's talking about weather or what that kind of thing as well so it, it, it all kind of comes out in a painting somewhere or, or sometimes people ask me how I title a piece of work but if I hear something or read something I might just write it down you know it could be something and I see sometimes the title might come first and then you'll find that the painting has come then to suit it or so, so I just keep a book that you would write just different wee things in it or, or just a description of the day or a cow up the field or, or something you know just something something that you've seen that you can uh, record it and, and use it so or you might have to look a wee bit deeper maybe or you know have a it could be it's like where's Wally you have to just <laughs> just stand a wee bit longer and, and just uh, and, and have a good look and, and that it's not it's not always obvious just and, and, and say you can take could be something happening in your own life that it might mean more to you or something that you can take something from a piece that's, that I didn't intend either, that you can find something else in it. So, so titles are, are important too, that, that they give you a wee, just a wee grasp of something, but not the full picture kind of. So. That you'll go through periods of colour that you're maybe into reds or into greens or so it just depends on your humour as well. Just some days, you, you, different colours that you'll go for. Just you know that you'll, that it's all in your mood as well. Just colours that you're attracted to as well. So, and uh, I remember somebody telling me one time, you know, that the Irish landscape isn't that colour. You know, but they haven't. That's the colours that I do, that you do see. You know, they were saying that we're, we're grey and we're blue and we're there's not that much colour in a in the Irish landscape. But if you if you, if you go out, you know, there's you know the red roofs and. You know, the one bushes that's bright yellow and you know there's loads of very bright colours and the landscape that uh, that that are there, you know, and, and change with every season as well. Every season has its colours. So uh, so you kinda of look forward to different times of the year as well too that that as I say that's around Easter time or that the one bushes, just all that yellow and everything's so bright and so there's different times of the year that, that you're you kind of look forward to and say this September now is the purples and and gold and rust and say Dunree at the minute is lovely you know all the 
with the shepherd's corn with that orange kind of flower and so there's very bright colours in the landscape that that were definitely not grey. I say we're 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 uh, I say that every day just that light as well, just the effect of light on them as well. So that uh, makes a difference. So. That uh, whenever I left college, too, people were saying, "Oh, you should go to London, and you should go here, and go there, and go to Paris." And so my mother says, "Bloom where you're planted." So that's what, what I did, and I'm kind of glad that that that's uh, that I did stay and and use what's what's here. So it was good advice. So.